It's time for another installment of... I just bought another Star Trek train from Hawthorne Village, Bradford Exchange. I do like Star Trek. I do like trains. I do like Star Trek and trains. And I continue to buy these. I think this is like the 14th or 15th installment. And I know this is a good decision because Hawthorne Village tells me so. It says, congratulations on your acquisition of a Star Trek boxcar. You were smart. You were smart to utilize the convenience of charging your credit card for the payment of $32.09. All right, we are confident that your Star Trek boxcar will meet with your full satisfaction. Thank you, Board of Governors. The governor has said this was a good decision. So let's see what we got. So this one actually came in a bigger box than the last one. They've been sending them in these little tiny white boxes. Sometimes they come in the styrofoam boxes, but oh, this one is totally packaged differently. This is a totally different packaging design. We got the certificate of authenticity. Oh, look, it's going to be Space Seed. There we go. The Space Seed box car. All right, so they've discontinued using boxes, I guess. All right, so this is, of course, a very important episode, Space Seed, where we get introduced to Ricardo Machaban <laughs> as Khan. All right, so it's always loved showing his chest there. All right, so I'm going to put this on the train with the other Star Trek boxcars. The locomotive just went amok. There is Space Seed. Really got to clean up this mess in here. All right, so tell me what you think of my Star Trek boxcar collection. We're going to keep doing this, this Bradford Exchange experiment. Just see how long this thing will keep going. We've got quite an extensive collection of Star Trek boxcars and passenger cars. Just wish I had another locomotive. I actually looked on eBay and I couldn't find another one. Uh, well, it not at a good price. I did find a Bradford Exchange collection of a hockey, I think it was the Chicago Blackhawks, at a Goodwill. I uh, didn't buy it. I wish I had bought it because then I could convert this B unit into a motorized unit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be looking on eBay to find some cheap A units where I can take this one and take the A unit. I think it's a, a fit. It'll, you can take the motor and just swap it out with the, the base of this uh, B unit. And then you can have two motorized <laughs> locomotives, uh, which would make it more beneficial for carrying all the other cars that we have. Because that one locomotive cannot pull the entire uh, setup with all the passenger cars. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have you subscribed yet? Please do.